could be wiser as an educated advisor. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and money color commentator. On today's show, addressing federal employee benefits, part two in our series on the top five insurance strategies for consumers with Randy Pearson. So let's get down to business. Randy, welcome to the second segment. Uh, we're doing our second one. Yeah. Federal employees. Now, I know I've had people on the show before that have talked about this, right? Okay. And now you're opening up. I thought this was for a specific kind of person. Nobody else can get inside this exclusive club. But you're saying no. There is a huge need, a call out to the advisory and insurance agent community mm -hmm. to actually start to play with federal employees, learn a bit about their benefits and how to market to it. Talk about why you got into this and why it's so lucrative. Well, you know, it's amazing. If you look at statistics and the average wage of the typical federal employee, I mean, it's higher than what most uh, mm -hmm. advisors would think. And a common denominator amongst most of those federal employees is that they don't have a clear understanding of their benefits, how they work, and frankly, where to find the information and uh, individuals to explain them to them. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you've got, to, uh, you've got individuals who are making a lot of money and have relatively lucrative benefits, but with no understanding, there's a market there that needs to be addressed and uh, no place better to address it than professional advisors. Okay, so let's say I buy your idea because this is an area where I, I don't hear too much traffic in. Mm -hmm. So if a guy says, hey, I like that, maybe I could make my niche market out of this, right? Yeah. What kind of learning curve is it to figure out all the benefits, the TSPs, everything these guys mm -hmm. are into? I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of the, the federal employees have. Mm -hmm. How do we teach them? How do we market to our advisors to bring them up to speed? Well, we've got a, we've got a very turnkey opportunity. So if, if we're peaking an advisor's interest, um, all they've got to do is reach out to me and learn about the turnkey opportunity, which includes, uh, we have a, a two day boot camp. We can bring advisors in and teach them most of everything they need to know on how to get into the federal employee, employee benefit program. The most effective way that advisors are getting in front of uh, prospective clients is through seminar marketing. Mm -hmm. Now we have a partner that can assist in filling rooms and you know, anybody who's done semin seminar marketing in the past knows that sometimes filling a room mm -hmm. is the uh, magic bullet that is, or the nut that's hard to mm -hmm. crack frequently. Right, exactly. But we've got a system of filling those rooms with those individuals and um, it's very, very effective. In addition, we've got a team of experts that have been doing this for a number of years that can guide that advisor through the process. They can actually conduct the seminars for them or train and bring up to speed the advisor so that they can do the seminars themselves or a combination of both. In addition, we've got a piece of software that um, can help the advisor to uh, guide the client through their benefits. Specific to federal be benefits. Specific to federal employees. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's one of the, the beauties of the program is that the advisor doesn't necessarily have to be intimately knowledgeable mm -hmm. on federal uh, employee benefits to immediately become productive in this space. Mm -hmm. um, over time, of course, they become more productive because they become more comfortable with that, mm -hmm. with that market. But in combination with the educational seminar, mm -hmm. it's truly an educational seminar, and the software that answers questions to the consumer, any advisor could get into this, uh, into this market if they've got the, the background in the products so they can speak intelligently about the solutions to the mm -hmm. problem. Now, I'm just imagining federal employees are everywhere in America. I mean, they're not in Washington, D.C., and Virginia. Everywhere, just there. Yes. So, yeah. so let's say I heard what you said, and, and I think I just heard you say, oh, we actually will fill the room for you. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. there, is a little, there is a little oddity. Tell me, how do they do that? Well, we have different method methodologies now. Of course, we can use the old uh, traditional direct mail but we have a proprietary email marketing system where we can get in touch with federal employees uh, to to invite them to the meeting. Did you say email system? It is an is electronic. So there's no postage. No postage. There's no print. Yes. Well, yeah. I, I I I would be a salivating right now yeah. just on that issue alone. We can reduce the cost of acquisition, mm -hmm. the cost of client mm -hmm. acquisition, rather dramatically. Mm -hmm. And, and to your point about federal employees are everywhere, they are everywhere. And the thing that, um, that amuses me sometimes when I'm talking uh, to advisors is when they think about a federal employee, oftentimes they're thinking about postal workers. And mm -hmm. nothing against postal workers, but they forget about the doctors who work in VA hospitals, the nurses, the orthopedists, the physical therapists, mm -hmm. 
the um, folks who work the, for the TSA administration, CIA, FBI mm -hmm. agents. Mm -hmm. All of these are federal employees who frequently make better than average incomes who once again still don't understand their employee benefits. Okay, now when I'm, uh, when, and, and I think I heard you say, uh, not only there are different methods and approaches of getting people in the seats, but at the beginning, you could actually have somebody come in on your behalf and give the presentation, and maybe until you feel comfortable, mm -hmm. maybe it could do three, four, five, until you get an idea of what's going on. Absolutely. And then you can start transferring, uh, migrating away from this person actually presenting, and you start to present. Absolutely. Talk yeah. a little bit about... Uh, and uh, can I do this anywhere in the United States? I can get somebody to come in and do this for me? Help me? Any, anywhere in the United States. Now, I will say that um, uh, there are certain geographic areas of the U.S. where we already have uh, a fair degree mm -hmm. of satura saturation with mm -hmm. advisors. So there are, there, there are certain parts of the country where there's dramatically fertile ground mm -hmm. uh, that we need to fill. So, um, you know, so we can certainly consult with the advisor and, and where mm -hmm. they are. In some instances, we have advisors who leave their personal geographic area where they live to go to another geographic mm -hmm. area where there are fewer advisors and perhaps more fertile ground, more federal employees mm -hmm. to work with. So even though it might involve some travel uh, to get in front of more uh, consumers on a receptive basis, they're willing to do that. Did I read this right in your notes to me that they'll actually, once they set this up, They'll actually give you a CRM database Absolutely. for follow-up. So yeah. like, maybe you didn't catch or capture them on the first pass. Maybe they didn't come to the seminar on the yeah. first pass. Mm -hmm. You have a CRM database of these mm -hmm. clients, and it's legit to use. Absolutely. It's wow. uh, proprietary mm -hmm. uh, within this program. And, uh, you know, Steve, it, it cracks me up. I, I've been in the business for 30 years. I speak to a lot of, it, a lot of advisors all over the country, and I frequently ask them if they have a CRM, that they keep all their client information, and have a means for touching prospective clients that they've that they've met over the years, and it's amazing to me how many of them do not. Mm -hmm. So not only is it a tool that most advisors need, but in this specific instance, it's a tool that can help drive additional business. After 12 or 24 months of working in this program, uh, if you've got a 30 or 40 percent conversion rate at seminars, well, there's 60 or 70 percent of people who have seen you speak and deliver the message that, for whatever reason, chose not to take action. You know, you just don't want to leave those folks hanging. Mm -hmm. You continue to drip on them. Eventually, many of those people will come back um, when life or necessity mm -hmm. dictates and say, hey, um, I'd really like you to come out and help me understand my benefits. Well, uh, to, to that point, do you have content that I can load up into the CRM and send them to keep dripping on? Absolutely. Yeah. Already I mean, done. That, that's the easy part, right? Yeah, the content, yeah. the drip messaging is, is easy. And what we have found is, as is true with most consumers, the older they get, the closer they approach retirement, mm -hmm. the more interested they are in learning, what do I have, uh, what do I have that perhaps is not best suited for me, mm -hmm. and how do I correct that problem? So that, that consistent drip campaign is, is critically important to increasing your ROI on the program. You'd mentioned here, now we've been talking federal, you mentioned here about state municipalities. Are we doing anything on the state level in regards to state employees? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, obviously, roles of state employees out there, the number of prospects in that marketplace is huge. And we are uh, fast approaching a time where we can open up that market. Mm -hmm. You know, the key is, is, is reaching out to them, having the tools mm -hmm. and the mechanisms to deliver the message and invite those folks to the seminar. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've just about uh, cracked that nut. So I would say that that is something to uh, look forward to in the very near future. Oh, halfway through 2019, maybe? I would say this year for sure, yes. 20, sure, okay, sometime 20. in 2019, we'll be able to roll that out. For state. Okay, well, yeah. that sounds great. Yeah. Now, when you use this term, you're, you, I've heard you say it twice now, exclusive workshops. Yeah. Now, that means that you have to be part of this proprietary channel, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so there's some certification or some way, a preamble to join or whatever. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. The, the, it is a very proprietary system. It's a program that was developed over a long period of time uh, with a lot of monetary investment. And so uh, two things. Number one, you have to be vetted to participate. And once you are vetted and accepted into the program, the expectation is, is that you are going to be captive to the program. Or in other words, um, you're not going to be writing business mm -hmm. outside of the program. So this is not a seminar system where mm -hmm. you can buy it and then go out and do your own thing. We don't want agents 
um, becoming a wild card out there and right. taking our intellectual property and the system and doing whatever they want mm. with it or selling products that we don't feel are appropriate. Uh, the other part of the vetting process is we're not looking for novice agents to participate in this program. We're not looking for advisors that have not sold a lot of uh, IUL or annuity products. We're looking for individuals who have proven themselves, mm. have sold significant premium, but are looking for a mechanism to take their game to the next level. Mm. Well, don't forget to watch our next segment on strategic growth using annuity systems, part three in our series on the top five insurance strategies for consumers with Randy Pearson. And keep in mind, before moving forward with any of the ideas on our show, always check with your tax consultant, legal counsel, and compliance officer. And don't forget, you can subscribe to my consumer show, Steve Savant's Money, the name of the game. You, daily content that you can post on your website, social media accounts, and database distribution. I'm Steve Savant. Thanks for watching.